Prototypes, we talk about them a lot on this channel. Today, we're gonna dive into something I've talked about before, but a different spin. You might remember this phone from a video where I told its crazy story. It's a PBT iPhone 6, but it was sent back to a customer by Apple. Probably one of, if not the only times it's ever happened. However, I wanna kinda dispel what is or isn't a PBT, because I think there's a lot of maybe not necessarily confusion out there, but conflicting information about what is a PVT prototype and what might be a factory reject unit. Because Apple, through the process of manufacturing phones such as this, may have a phone that will not get its information etched on it, but will have been manufactured, put in a case, and then at a certain point along the manufacturing process, Apple decides, hey, this isn't up to snuff and they'll throw it out. So there is a couple differences between a genuine PVT unit or just another phone running switchboard that didn't make it out of the quality control stage of the factory. As you'll see, it had a gear logo when it was booting up and we do have a red little protector for the lightning port. Fundamentally, there isn't a huge difference between this PVT unit and a lot of quality control units on the outside. One thing to pay pretty good attention to is the build numbers. If it's a six and it should be running, let's say iOS eight, but it's running iOS 9, 10, 11, that's a pretty good indicator that it's not actually a PVT prototype, but a quality control unit, because Apple will make phones for several years after the initial launch of the device, and consequently need to keep doing quality control during that time period. Another easy way to tell with the software is sometimes you can go into reliability, and if you look at the serial number, if it'll load, reliability is so wonderfully janky on these early builds. Actually, this one does not have it, but on some versions of reliability, it will tell you what the device config is. However, in this case, our easiest way of identifying that this is a PBT device is going to be to actually open it up. Now, disassembly, again, it's a PBT, is not going to be any different than any normal iPhone. You've got your Penelope screws on the bottom because Apple just loves repairability. I will be kind to this prototype and go ahead and turn it off. If we go ahead and pry the display open, we'll see, again, this really opens no different than any normal iPhone 6. However, the interior, there are a couple noticeable differences. Let's go ahead and get this display cover plate off and dive into them. Now, the display panel itself doesn't have any real noticeable differences, which is understandable given this is PVT. If it's DVT, generally here or here on the display, there would be some kind of internal QR code or asset something or other. And generally the front would have on one of the sides a asset tag. Again, not the case because this is PVT. Where it really shines is in the device itself. We actually will have a label on the battery with serial information as well as a very distinctive and obvious PVT marking to it. There's also a accompanying label on the MLB that says MLB PVT1. This is something not unique to this unit in any way. Genuine PVT units even more modern ones have these kinds of stickers to differentiate them being PVT. The battery as well is completely normal, which is how it should be for these units. There are prototype batteries with black boxes where regulatory info should be. However, those are only common on DVT or earlier devices prior to receiving regulatory approval. PVT devices are going to be pretty much identical to their production counterparts, with the exception of stickers like these. Outgoing quality control devices, on the other hand, will completely lack these stickers and are identical to the production counterpart, as the only thing unique about them is the software they are running, not the device themselves. You'll even notice on the dock connector, there is a really, really tiny PVT-1 sticker there too. Additionally, it's kind of hard to see, but the board revision is different than a production unit. Almost all PVT devices ever made, the board, while maybe functionally and chip in design wise is identical, the revision should be one or a dash A or a dash B, 
earlier than the release board. There's always some difference from release devices in PVT ones, however minor it may be. This is just a quick, more depthful look at a really interesting, genuine PVT device. And I hope this helps kind of distinguish the difference from rejected quality control units and genuine PVT devices, because there seems to be maybe not confusion, but a lot of confliction in what is said out there and what people represent as PVT and what people represent as being a normal device running switchboard. I hope this is a quick little look into a awesome PVT prototype with more to come soon. Like and subscribe and make sure to comment down below.